name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which are going to be all of my autumn recommendations. Before we get started, I want to remind you that if you like this video or like the kind of content that I make, please feel free to subscribe as I make videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. I have so much fun making this content for you all and I would love to build more of a community with you. Now, it is autumn season. We had our autumn equinox quite recently, or at least recently upon filming this, um, and there are just so many good fall slash autumn cozy books that I have read this past year and recently and I am so excited to be reading more. I feel like I have so many good ones on my TBR that I'm filming this video now but could probably film a part two again in a few weeks once I've read some more that I I think just have the perfect cozy autumn you know fall colors and just various cozy vibes. But today I have 10 recommendations that I'm going to give you. Comment down below if you do want me to make a part two of this video with more books as I'm reading them and I can do them a little bit later in the season if you need a little pick me up. But let's get right into the video. So the first book that I would like to recommend is a dark fantasy romance and I've talked about this book quite a bit on my channel so I won't spend too much time on it. But that is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. This to me, it's the perfect autumn read if you like dark fantasy and some romance because it takes place in a dark wood. It has blood and nature magic. Anything with a wood strong nature theme, I think to me, always tends to be very autumnal. Um, and it's very interesting how the author describes color in this book, be mostly because there isn't color. And so that just gives it like not quite spooky. I would still consider this a cozy read, but there are darker elements. Again, there is blood magic, so just be aware of that. But it is about um, this fantasy world where there are two daughters and one is for the wolf. She is supposed to be a sacrifice to the wolf creature in the woods to keep her village safe for the X amount of time until they get another set of two daughters. And then the other daughter is for the throne. She is to be the new queen and to continue ruling the land. However, this year our daughter who goes for the wolf, it's a little bit of a Red Riding Hood kind of vibe because she goes into the woods, um, she realizes that not all is as it seems and maybe that what they're doing is not the best <laughs> for their society or for the woods and so she teams up with some interesting cast of characters to try and figure it all out. I, like I said, I very much love this. It encaptured me from the very beginning and I would highly recommend it. Next, I have a book called A Wolf or a Spell by Kara Sutton. This is a Russian folklore retelling story with Baba Yaga and a wolf. And we are following three POVs for this book. So we have a wolf who goes to Baba Yaga to help her with her pack. Baba Yaga is concerned about what the Tsar is about to do to the forest. And we have the view of a human girl who is come to Baba Yaga for help. So it, again, it has very woodsy, very natural vibes. Also, if you hear like creaking and various like shuffling movements, it's a very windy day today and everything here is creaking. Like the blinds, even though the window is closed, the door, it's, it's just a very windy day here so anyway so Baba Yaga and the wolf actually end up switching bodies so the wolf now is figuring out how to pretend to be Baba Yaga and Baba Yaga is using the wolf's body to try and save the forest it was such a beautiful it is technically a middle grade but I think even if you're not super into middle grade if you're looking for an autumnal cozy read this would be really good um the writing didn't seem young like it wasn't old it was just it was very lyrical and easy to read and go through and it was just so cozy the next recommendation is a little more of a it's not a cozy mystery by genre but it is a mystery slightly thrillery but not really 
that is Finlay Donovan is Killing It by El Casamano. I just read the sequel to this, Finlay Donovan Knocks Them Dead, and I think Finlay Donovan is Killing It is a great one for autumn um, because it takes place in late summer, kind of autumn season, and Finlay Donovan is a writer and she reads um, like thriller romance or mystery romance books and she is talking with her agent in Panera and is overheard by a woman and that woman thinks that she's actually a hitman. So she tries to hire Finlay Donovan to kill this terrible, terrible man as if she's a hitman. And um, Finlay Donovan is very strapped for cash at the moment and um, just decides to figure some things out and investigate. One thing leads to another and there is a dead body involved. The story just goes so much deeper than that. It's, it's kind of more of a whimsical murder mystery, I would say, which is why it's an autumnal cozy read rather than um, a very spooky book that I will put on my spooky book recommendations that I will be uh, putting out later in October. Next up, if you are a fan of historical fiction, I would highly recommend for you Magic Lessons by Alice Hoffman. So this is actually a prequel, or really book one of the Practical Magic series. There are more books in the series, I have not yet read them, but this is a lifelong book of a witch in Salem. So this follows uh, a woman and actually it goes through to the life of her daughter as well. It's kind of a story that takes place over this long period of time and I, I loved the elements of this book. There are actual like recipes for spells and things to just kind of help boost uh, your lifestyle and things like that. And it was very autumnal in that sense of being witchy but without being super dark per se. I mean, but it's also Salem Witch Trials. So if you need a good historical fiction to cozy up to this autumn season, I would recommend this one. Next up, I have another Red Riding Hood retelling that when I read it, I fell in love with it. And it is Red Wolf, and this is by Rachel Vincent. So this has your classic elements of Red Riding Hood. Um, you have Red, who has a sister and her mom, and she has to go to her grandmother's house in the woods, and she ends up learning some family secrets. So I feel like a lot of the autumnal vibes are evident in the it's in a cabin in the woods but also red's family is our, our bakers like her mom and herself are bakers and so it talks about them baking bread for everybody in the village and i just loved it very cobblestone streets vibes and just the warmth that i could feel coming through this book when they were baking bread it just it put me in such a trance of the environment i I was just so incredibly happy, just I could smell the bread, feel the warmth, see the woods, it was just so vivid of a surrounding to be put in and I just, I, this is one I would want to reread this fall just to continue getting me into the fall autumn vibes. So this is, this is such a good one. <laughs> Now, I do also have a Dark Academia that I am recommending on this list. Again, it's on this list rather than my spooky books recommendations, um, but it is a little more like on the spookier side. It is The Grimrose Girls by Laura Pohl. I have not yet read the second one of this, but I very much want to. The reason this is on this list is because it is also very based off of fairy tales, and that to me is a more cozy aspect. So there are girls at this academy who are dying, but they also realize that they are kind of reimaginings of various fairy tale characters. It's also queer romance, I'm just gonna throw that out there. And so you're going through and you're trying to figure out what's going on with the murders, but also what's going on with this whole fairy tale business, and it was just a mystery that was wonderful to cozy up to. I read this in spring, so I it very much felt out of season. So if I were to read this now, or if I read the next book, I think it'll very much more so feel in season to read. Moving on, I would recommend to you Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. This is one of her earlier books, but I just read it recently. And this, again, very much in 
the woods in a forest. So this follows a warrior who is getting ready to take her trial and join her place in society before she can, I believe she's like the daughter of the chief of her clan or something. So she is a very important person and she is very good at fighting these demons. Now also to know there is this god that demands a sacrifice from all of the villages, all the clans, um, quite frequently, and they are huge tolls to be taken on the villages. So when our main character fails her test and is banished into the woods and can no longer join any clan, she needs to solve her incredibly difficult challenge to, in order to be reinvited back into society and take her place as she should. So there are just many elements of this that I, I adored. I rated it five stars. So she is in the woods trying to do this challenge and helping other people that she met who were also exiled from their clans complete their challenges. So it's, it's a good fantasy for the fall time. And speaking of fall time fantasies, I would also recommend These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. So this is your classic Fae story. It is part of a series, I believe the second book, maybe it's a duology, has come out. Again, I haven't read it yet. Wow, I am so bad at continuing this series. But you have your main character who is not a fan of the Fae. She hates the Sealy Courts. But when her friend gets kind of captured and unjustly brought over, she tries to go and save them, and she gets all caught up in the politics between the two courts, as well as getting caught up in a love triangle. Which, if you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of love triangles, but the book was pretty good, so. If you need a fey fantasy this coming fall season, then I would recommend picking this one up. And then the final book that I have to recommend on this list is Anatomy by Dana Schwartz. So this is your gothic romance. I, I very much enjoyed this book. You have your main character who is a woman in some 1800s Scotland and she wants to work with dead bodies. She is kind of like a mortician, but not really. She wants to study human biology and you know join that world which is pretty much only for men at this time um and so she goes to the professor's class and he said if you can pass the exam you can join my class but in order for her to pass the exam she needs to be able to learn things so she teams up with a grave digger to dig up bodies for her to examine and she starts her own little healing business along the way it was so atmospheric and the love story was so good. It had such an interesting ending that I was not prepared for, but actually really enjoyed. So it is much more on the spooky side, but it's a gothic romance and it was just the perfect for fall time. With the romance and the Scotland setting where of course it's always cold and slightly dreary, but that's okay. That's what we all love about fall, right? So I just, I cannot recommend that book enough. If you haven't picked it up, please do. The cover of the book is very, very accurate on displaying what the book is because she is in this dress and it is in the shape of an atomically correct heart. So it's a heart because of romance, but it's atomically correct because of the, you know, gothic trying to train as a doctor. So. I loved it, and really any book in Scotland it just already just makes me excited. I believe it takes place in Edinburgh, which is the perfect place to put a autumnal book for the setting. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have read any of these books, what your thoughts are. I would love to talk with them about you, or have if you have any autumnal recommendations for me to pick up this season. Like I also said at the beginning of the video, if you want me to make another one of the autumnal recommendations videos, I can probably definitely do that in about a month or so. I've just been so excited to read all of these books. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I do also have bookish social media linked down below where I make all kinds of bookish content as well, and I love doing it all. And until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.